Hello, what is up? It is the GTA Rollers here for a video today of a garage tour. So I guess we'll just start straight away with this. My Dominator GTX. I won this on the wheel and it currently set up the CVC. But these are just nice wheels and I thought they really suit with it even if it's muscle. Uh, and I really like that car. Then we have a stock Barado Banshee, which I don't know why I own, but I do. I might at Benny upgrade it because it looks cool. Then we come over to my Camacho. This is an army themed vehicle. Got uh, the army livery on and everything. Looking nice as hell. Next we come over to this Omnis. And this Omnis is basically just not really used. I don't know why I still own it. But, yeah, I own an Omnis. Then we come over to the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a car that I don't drive, but I keep it because I like it how it looks. I think the brown with the orange metallic looks very nice on this car. And next, we come over to the Dinka Versus. This car is literally the most useless thing, and I've never driven it once. But I still own it for some reason because it was free and yeah next we have my supra or just a classic this is based off the fast and furious bronze toyota supra mark 4 so um yeah that's what that's what this livery is about and i think it looks very nice next we have the grotty turismo r a car that i got for free that um well it's orange and yeah Looks quite nice. Don't really drive it. And next we come over to this. I don't remember what this thing is called. The Shifter the Deviant. I really like how this thing looks when you do the lower when you lower it. But it's a very weak car, so it's hard to lower. But yeah, that is everything in garage and the workshop level of my garage. Next we'll come over to the next level which is Garage Level 1B. Garage Level 1B has some interesting vehicles. And uh, they're quite nice, if you ask me. Uh, this is probably where my nicest vehicles are stored, so all my really expensive vehicles are usually on this level. First, we start off with the Vapid Ellie. And I based it off an old Aston Martin van. V8 Vantage, because the LE is based off a Mustang and a V8 Vantage, and it looks really nice in the green, and it really suits this car. Next we come over to my FMJ, and it's quite obviously based off a Ford GT uh, from 2017. So I went with that look, went with the blue, and then put some yellow, two yellow brake calipers on it, and I really like this car. Next, we come over to my Tyrus, or Tyrant. I have a Tyrus and a Tyrant, and I get them confused. But yeah, this is one on the wheel, and that's why it has no wing, because you can't get rid of the wing unless it's been one on the wheel. And it is really nice. I love the look of the orange with the black and the carbon fiber bonnet. Next, we come over to another stock Dinka Versus. Again, don't know why I own it, but I do. Then we have this thing, probably the most forgettable car in this game. So forgettable that I forgot what it's called. But it's the Bravado Velia. But it's quite clearly based on the TVR Cigales. And I really like the look of it. Next we come over to this thing. This is electric is all I know about it. And it's not very fast. But you know... It has a nice interior. Like it, that's one. That's one of the things I really like about this car is its interior. Chameleon doesn't have an engine sound, and it always puts me off. But well, that's the chameleon. Next, we have the night shark. Another car I want on the wheel that I haven't really touched. It's kind of ugly. Don't really drive it. Next, we have the Comet Retro Custom. And this thing is based off one of the first cars I ever owned in this game. And if you go onto my Instagram, there's actually a pic of this car. But this, it's not the same 
comet. This is my uh, based off my original comet, and I'm pretty sure this blue isn't correct or this silver, but I can't be bothered to get them correct. And then finally, the level one B we come over to the JB seven hundred W. The weapon and the W stands for weaponized. So these guns they work, and then it drops oil slicks, which are very useful to taking out cops. And now we'll come over to the next level, final level, which is garage level 2B. And this is probably the most interesting level because it has some very strange cars on it. But some very nice cars. I love this level of cars though. Some of my favourite. So uh, here we have my Grotti Turismo R Classic. Obviously based off a of Ferrari F40. Got pop-up headlights. So it's amazing. Instantly amazing if it has pop-up headlights. Next we have an empty space. And I'm not sure if that's because I need to pay insurance. It's just because... Um... I just don't have anything there. But I'm pretty sure I might need to pay insurance on something. No, I just don't have anything there. Next we have the Rebel. I brought the Rebel because it's highly customizable and really cheap. It looks amazing in lime green and I really like this vehicle. Then we come over to this and I don't think I've ever driven this. It just sort of sits as a CIA vehicle. And yeah, it does look pretty nice though. Next we come over to the Vapid Hot Knife. This is a very good car for its price. $90,000 to get this. And I think it really suits the black and yellow look. It's got that um, really nice front end. And the only problem I have with it is there's no grill customization because I would have liked to have removed the grill. Next, you come over to my Voodoo Custom. The Voodoo Custom is made, basically, it looks like a New York taxi sort of, sort of look I was going with this, like an old, old, old New York taxi for the VIX, and yeah, it does look nice, has hydraulics, so that's cool, next we come over to the Bravado rack truck, and again, another cheap vehicle that has is highly customizable, and I've went for a very classical look on this, and I love how it looks with the no front end. And yeah. It's a very nice engine tone. That idle is a really nice sound. Next we come over to the BF Beta. This is such an awesome car for the price. 75,000 and you get a very well good customization vehicle that everyone forgets about. I don't know why it's so forgotten because it's such an amazing vehicle for customization. And finally we're going to come over to the most like valuable car personally to me, Boris. Boris, you, c you can't help but love Boris. Boris is a weenie dynasty and we call him Boris for some reason. And yeah, I think I'm even going to take Boris out for a drive. That's how amazing Boris is. Also, Boris is a very nice engine to note. That is a really nice idle. So we'll take Boris out for a quick drive. And that will be the end of my garage tour after we've taken Boris out. I will have garage tours on my other garages, but my arena workshop is probably my most used garage. Sounds such so nice for a weenie car. I'll go.